I'd see him sitting on that couch all day long, just staring at that Hollywood hogwash. Our favorite show was Hollywood Hogwash. Everyone, welcome to another episode of Hollywood Hogwash. I'm Andrew Pisano, along with Josh Reese and Aaron Rosa. I oh. am looking forward to this episode because this is the first time on this podcast that I think we're uh, we're not all going to be in sync. <laughs> the first time? Uh, no. Do you remember the first bat- time in 2023? The Batman '89. That's episode true. we didn't agree uh yeah so we were all excited to see this movie cocaine bear very excited uh, but unfortunately i guess they actually did cocaine while making this movie because it's a gigantic piece of shit get out of here no I, this movie sucked it was not it is the worst movie i've seen in a very long time they had a That's movie called this cocaine bear they gave us a premise A crazy bear eating people. And then they went and got the woman that directed a pitch perfect movie. Pitch (laughs) perfect. And a Charlie's Angels reboot to do Cocaine Bear. Look, maybe there's a place for her in Hollywood, but Cocaine Bear, Elizabeth Banks, god damn it. I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to spoil it. I know you we'll want get, to spoil it. We'll get. To, what no. is there to spoil? It's a bear that kill that eats people. Everything in the trailer that you saw was like that's everything you need to see. It's a perfect example of they put everything in the trailer. No. Yes. It was fun. Absolutely. It was fun. I liked it. It was not fun. It was very boring. We'll get into it later, and uh, we'll you know maybe uh, you know fight each other. Yeah. We'll see what happens. There's a reason why I'm on the outside this week, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to be You're this on the close, inside Josh. of two people arguing back and forth against me in both ears. Oh, that, yeah. Maybe we should switch just so we could yell. <laughs> and, we could just fucking yell at you. Like you're Eric during a bracket. <laughs> no. That'd be great. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. It was perfect. I, I, I get depressed when I see a movie this bad, and I just feel very upset right now. No. It's this, like watching AEW. This was wow. a this was a walkout movie. If we oh, weren't, oh my god! If we weren't reviewing this, I would. I, and I don't walk out of movies. Right. I almost never do. I absolutely would have walked out of this movie if we weren't reviewing it. See, this is where we get differing <laughs> opinions. I want to see this movie again, so. <laughs> I, 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 I don't so know. Here's, I here's, feel like they might have seen a different movie. Here's what I think maybe we, we saw, all didn't see. Cocaine you saw Bear. a different movie in your head, no, because I, you were I thinking your other head was watching amazing the movie. Movie about a bear and his fancy romp through the through the woods, uh, snorting cocaine at, and and coughing it up at children. I don't think it ever snorted cocaine, but you know. Okay, so here's what happened, real quick. <laughs> Aaron and I saw the movie together without, Sunday night. Without Josh. Josh yeah. saw it the previous night, and he's like, it's good, guys. It's good. Here's the thing, though. Josh saw the movie with his girlfriend. What does that have to do with anything? You were you liked the movie because your pee-pee was hard. Shut and up. And you were like, I've got a girlfriend. She, she fucks me, and my pee-pee's hard, so this is great. Shut I'm sure you up. thought the whole fucking day was great. Well, the whole day was great. Someone could have fed sure. you a turd sandwich, no. and you would have been like, "Oh, this poop sandwich is pretty good." Nom, 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 nom. The movie was That's good, regardless of who I was with. I would have laughed. I would have. I would have clapped at the end of the movie, even if I was in the theater alone. Right. Even if I was watching no, no, a movie. No, 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 listen, y'all. listen. I once got a blowjob while watching X Men Origins Wolverine. Jesus, <laughs> did that? Was that movie good? I no, know. I didn't see that, that movie, movie sucked ass. But you know what? When I saw it the first time, I was like, "It was a pretty good movie." It's because I got a blowjob. I, I could have w- watched it with anybody, and I would have thought it was still a good movie. I, as long as they gave you a blowjob. <laughs> I I have the same story. I was it was like ninety nine two thousand. This was after the Mummy, and there was some Brendan Fraser like I think it was called Blast from the Past. Oh my god, that movie and, sucks. And, 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 I, I think Christina Applegate was it? Wait, no. Uh, I Alicia forgot. Silverstone? I don't even yes, know. I think it was Alicia Silverstone. But that yes, sounds like a great cast. But yes, there was there was pee pee time during the movie. And <laughs> my memory of the movie was that was a pretty good movie. Pretty good. It's, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Yeah. No, it wasn't. <sighs> That's no, good it movie. wasn't. No. It's like when yeah. it's it's also another example is like when you take your kids to go see a shitty Disney movie 
And like the movie sucks, but your kids loved it. So you're like, yeah, you know, Corella wasn't bad. It was good. I had fun. You had fun because your kids had fun. Oh. See, I think you're way too easily dismissing the possibility <laughs> that you were. No. There were exen- extenuating uh, circumstances. You were thinking about your pee pee. These two people do not like fun movies. This oh. person <laughs> likes fun movies. Oh, that's Andrew, it. Right. Andrew that's it. even hated right. Buzz Lightyear. I thought Buzz Lightyear was uh, fun. It was fun. Sucked. It was fun. That's you know? right. The movie called Cocaine Bear, and the like. The movie's boring. No. It was like boring. 30 minutes it's in, I'm like. Extremely boring. I'm like, I guess it gets good. Are we doing the review now? No, we're not. Okay. Let's all right. Let's let's get back to this. I mean, we could because there's nothing to spoil, but whatever. We'll come back to it later. Uh, There is good news this week, please, uh, because the Hollywood Hogwash Patreon has hit 100 subscribers. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Who was the hundredth? Uh, well, these two people had two more people join this week. Uh, they are also what's wrong with wrestling patrons as well. Uh, you know, like a lot of our Hollywood hogwash patrons are maybe all of them. Who knows? But, uh, I do recognize a lot of the names every week, but thank you to Lord, uh, Chulhu. I still don't know how to pronounce whatever this name is. Lord Cthulhu. Uh, Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Oh yeah. 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 Cthulhu. What is it from? He's like one of the old eldritch gods. I don't know. It's... Don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay. Uh, whatever Aaron said. And then thank you to Laura Payton. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining the... Is this a universe now? Right? It's a universe, right? <laughs> oh, God. We have our own universe. <laughs> the, the HH universe. Because <laughs> Josh coined the WWWW universe. That's right. Although back then you would say like... You would go back and forth from three W's. <laughs> To five W's, and I'm like, well, you know, it's the H- close w- enough. It's the H W U H H W U double H U. That's right, double H U. Hollywood yeah. Hogwash Universe. Well, that's a, that's a W. Yeah, okay. We'll, I guess we'll work H-H-U on H H U makes sense because M C U D C U H H U. I like it. H H U. Yeah. So H-H-U. can I be? So can I be Colson then? Like I'm barely there, but people kind of like me. Like I'll take that. Okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess I'm Ghost so, Rider. I'm a Latino heartthrob, but people hate me. No, it's not uh, all about what? Agents of Shield, Josh. Oh, okay. I didn't know what you were going in with. The MCU. I didn't know what you were going anybody with. Anybody in the MCU, who would okay. who, you be for this podcast? Oh, the troll from uh, Endgame. Shut up. <laughs> no, Infinity War. Sorry. The troll from Infinity War. I guess I would be Thanos. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's so he's so misunderstood. Of course, he <laughs> thinks he's the most powerful sure. guy, right? In the fucking universe, and he's sure. misunderstood. You know, he's misunderstood. You fucking jackass. I'm sure half of our fans would like to fucking snap you away from existence. <laughs> Only uh, half. Oh yeah, I got blipped. Damn it. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much again. Uh, if you want to join, go to Patreon.com/slash Hollywood Hogwash. We are currently covering The Last of Us. Uh, we're going to be covering The Mandalorian. Mandalorian starts this fucking week, so we got to figure oh, out. Shit. We got to figure out something. Maybe we'll finish Last of Us and then we'll catch up with The Mandalorian because it's going to be hard to do all those podcasts every week. But that's that's so it starts this week, right? It does, yeah. So that's kind of funny. So Pedro Pascal wasn't in the last. Last of Us because, you know, they were doing a flashback episode or whatever. Well, we don't know yet. Well, I mean, I potentially. Did you watch it already? I didn't watch it. Potentially. Okay. But it's only then, been out for a couple hours. But then this week, he's going to be escorting a child. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what he does best. That's so. what he does best. Pedro is just sitting at home jerking off because he's competing with himself. <laughs> right. For the best two shows. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. We're also going to be doing uh, some brackets on there uh, very, very soon. So look out for that as well. Patreon.com slash Hollywood Hogwash. Only $3 a month. You can cancel any time. There you go. All righty. Let's cover the uh, news and rumors, a.k.a. the Hollywood Hogwash. So Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. You know, really bad reviews. Oh, it Aaron- sucked. Uh, we told Aaron how bad it was. He didn't even bother to see it. That's probably best. Uh, I wish I had that luxury, but unfortunately not. So uh, this is interesting. Ant-Man 3 had the biggest second weekend decline 
for any MCU movie ever with a 69.7% drop in domestic box office. Jesus Interesting. Christ. Could reviews have said something to do with this? Probably. Um, well, obviously, yeah. Obviously. So it beat Black pa- uh, Black Widow. Uh, Black Widow was a 67.8% drop. That was also in the... That was also in the middle of COVID, and also um, they released Black Widow on Disney Plus, like you could rent right. it from Disney right, Plus. Right, right, right. right. Um, yeah, it still won the weekend though with thirty-two million, but it went from yeah a hundred million to thirty-two million, so it was quite the drop. Also, director Peyton Reed told the Hollywood Reporter, "A lot of people were upset that Lewis wasn't in this movie. You know, oh, Scott's friend, right, mm-hmm. with the van." But Peyton Reed told The Hollywood Reporter that it didn't make sense to include Lewis in the movie. Wow. You know what didn't make sense? A lot of everything the else. The movie. <laughs> None of it made sense. A lot of everything else? Uh, casting Bill Murray in a non-comedic role doesn't make any sense. So, yeah. And then also anonymous Ant-Man 3 uh, visual effects artists have told the Vulture, mm-hmm. uh, told Vulture that human greed led to visual problems. Well, I had seen this. Uh, That's what's so upsetting. Sorry, is that this is Disney. This is Disney, one of the richest companies in the fucking world. They own right. everything. They own Marvel. They own Star Wars. Like they own everything, and they cheapen out with the FX. Right. All these FX VFX artists are always like. We don't get paid overtime. They work us so hard. I saw a fucking YouTube video that was like. Um, like CGI was better 10 years ago than it is now just because they've gotten so cheap with the fucking effects cheap and lazy and it's like they show by comparison it's like holy shit the CGI was better 10 years ago they've just recognized that we're stupid cattle yeah and they can just give us shitty product right and we'll keep coming back to the trough to eat it well it's true well, hopefully see, a story like this where the drop in the second week was terrible, hopefully that might might shake some heads, you know, might get people to realize that maybe we should start paying attention to some of this shit. Yeah. Hopefully. Well, we'll see. One of the VF, VFX... I mean, they went from Thanos. Yes. Thanos was so good. Like, those, that CGI for Thanos was amazing, and now we've got this shit, and it's terrible. I, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Well, no, I was just saying one of the VFX artists uh, was quoted as saying, in terms of priority, Wakanda Forever was definitely at the top of the list. All the money went to that. All the best uh, resources went to that. It's understandable given the context with Chadwick and everything yeah. and how well the first film went, but this did diminish the ability to carry Ant-Man all the way through. So, I mean, like... like like what you mentioned this is the biggest company out there how can you let that that doesn't make any sense because that 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 argument is saying they marvel can only make one movie and everything else is going to be bad you can't make two movies or three movies good apparently right if they they can only afford to make one movie and everything else is just going to be like an indie movie if there's only one good visual effects team then just make one movie a year. <laughs> if right. That's all you could do. Just push Ant Man three back. And again, Ant Man three didn't suck just because of the F, of the, the CGI. The full fucking movie was a train wreck. But but yeah, it's right. just upsetting that the richest fucking company like is just cheap. It like just being cheapskates. Well, it should terrify you, right? Like if they ran out of money for Ant Man, I mean, like how terrified should we be for Guardians? How terrified should we be for the Marvels later in the year? I don't think yeah. we're gonna watch that one anyways, but I'm just saying, Ugh. like, there there's still two more Marvel movies coming out this year. I feel like Guardians will be quality because the first two were I sure hope and so. And because it's James Gunn, I feel like he wouldn't even and he'd probably demand, you know, uh greatness, but his budget's actually coming from DC. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Also, Deadline reports that Steven Yeun has uh, joined the cast of Thunderbolts. So that's some uh, potential good news. That's cool. He's doing a lot of shit. Glenn from The Walking Dead. Yep. Invincible. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But yeah, you know, Thunderbolts is... Obviously, there's not a trailer out, but I like those characters. Right. um, That that are going to be in it. You know, in this, uh, we've also uh, thought that maybe Deadpool could be in this... In this universe, with him joining the MCU, I mean, maybe I would not count. I wouldn't count on it. But Yelena and Red Guardian is enough. 
you know, I'm excited to see them again. Yeah, yeah. that's that's enough for the price of admission right there. But I also feel like that's another movie that they'll cheapen on the F, on the special effects. For sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Black Widow was like horrendous with the. It, it's like they filmed it using my green screen. Like me doing it would be like that's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty good. You did that for no money. No, this cost $100 million to make. <laughs> Should we make a Marvel movie? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. And then Elizabeth Olsen recently told fans at a panel that she wants to come back as Scarlet Witch. Sure. Olsen said Kevin Feige asks us what we want to do with the character, and then he does it. I just want to come back. It's like, yeah, that's smart. Wow. Just do whatever you find. It seems like Feige's given up at this point. You know, it all started with She-Hulk. It's like they need someone else at the helm who actually who actually gives a shit because it's like, yeah, you did Infinity War and Endgame. And I'm sure you all thought at the time we're never going to top this. Fuck it. She Hulk fucks Daredevil. Who cares? Uh, and it's like, the, hey, Kat Feige, I want to come back as Scarlet Witch. OK, sure. Sure. Even though we killed you off. No problem. Hey, Let's Feige, I want to twerk with Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah. Yeah. We'll make okay. it happen. Why not? Yeah. I'm not real a real person anyways. I'm technically just a computer. Yeah, exactly. I just don't understand because nothing we have seen since Endgame, nothing we've seen except maybe Spider-Man movies, nothing we've seen has felt like an MCU movie. Like they don't have that feel like you knew going into MCU movies it was going to be a good time. You knew it was going to be a good movie and just Almost nothing has felt like that. I liked Thor: Love and Thunder, but I mean, yeah, that, I was, Thor. that was about it. Was, it. Uh, well, that's why I said almost nothing. Okay, there's yeah. there's been some exceptions, but it is but very it is, few. It's funny how since Endgame, like almost every MCU movie is a cry fest. Because you're yeah. you're forgetting before Endgame, they were just it was just gold after gold after gold. Almost every single one of them was phenomenal. Almost every one. Yeah. And now it's like. There are exceptions. That maybe are good. it's just we're getting tired of these fucking movies. Uh, maybe it's they're getting stale, them. and this could be D- DC's uh, gain. You know, maybe. we're getting a little bit tired of Marvel. They're getting kind of lazy. Just, I think there's just too many superhero movies. Yeah. Period. I think that's the issue. That is true. Like I almost want to see all of this fail just so that there could be other movies in theaters again. Because <laughs> superhero movies are the only movies that make money. Yeah. In theaters. <laughs> like that fucking Babylon movie made like $3 million. That had Margot Robbie and Brad Pitt. Like, holy shit. It made no money. Um, didn't really look very good, but. Yeah, we need to make <clears throat> some more room for uh, some more Fast X movies. Okay. Yeah, Fast, like, X. Fast X. Well, that's a, a superhero movie. movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, basically. And then also, uh, the, you remember the Avengers play Rogers the musical from Hawkeye? Yes. Yes. Um, it's coming to Disneyland this summer. Sure. Okay. Sure. I can see so that. So you go sure. to Disneyland in California and go see Rogers the Musical. Sure. Road trip? No. Road, Road trip. trip. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's kind of cool. Sure. Yeah. That's not bad. Do you have any more uh, Marvel news? No. I just had one uh, Marvel thing since we're talking about Marvel. Uh, as we know, the Tom Cruise Iron Man was a no-go. Uh, yes. He was uh, he was talking on a podcast called Phase Zero and said the rumors just weren't were just rumors. Tom Cruise said he was not close in portraying Iron Man. Yeah, I someone, love Robert Downey Jr. and I can't well, imagine doing any anyone else doing that role. I think it's perfect for him. Well, what does not close mean? Does that mean he was never contacted or just they never came close to no, working it so out? So someone in Marvel spoke on this last year. Uh, and the, I forgot exactly who it was, but they were was like one of the screenwriters. They were like, "Well, yeah, he was doing Mission Impossible, right?" So he couldn't I believe, have done it. I believe one of the screenwriters said they didn't even reach out to him because of scheduling conflicts. Well, mm. it was just like, yeah, he was doing Mission Impossible, so of course he couldn't do it. But it's like, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, fucking Jim Halpert. Oh, uh, um, John Krasinski. John Krasinski. Like they even said they were like, yeah, like that that whole thing him as. You know, Mr. Fantastic all got started with an online rumor, and then we were like, okay, well, let's try to make it happen. Right. So, like, they're just trying to give all the fans on the internet exactly what they want. You can't, I mean, that's a little cameo. That was fine. We liked it and everything like that. But you can't, like, you can't make, 
your entire decision based on what fans are saying on online. Right. right. Yeah, if you eat cake too much, sometimes you're not going to like cake. You know, you're going to eventually get tired of it. And that's what you meant with Marvel. Maybe we have too many Marvel movies. Yeah. You know, we had cake for They're a just... long time. Delicious, beautiful cake. Because yeah. we, we didn't used to have three, four Marvel movies a year. Right. We would get like one and it would be great. And now they're just rushing them out. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's a real problem. Uh, but I yes, we were talking about The Mandalorian earlier. Uh, John Favreau told Total Film that he doesn't have an ending for The Mandalorian yet. And I kind of feel like he's saying this because, like, season two, the season two finale was the ending. <laughs> right. And they were like, hey, we want, we want more. Right. right. And he's like, well, we're done. So, well, how about another $100 million? He's like, all right, I guess I could write something. I all guess right. so. We'll stick with Grogu <laughs> yeah. until he becomes an adult. But I, yeah, uh, Favreau... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably true. Yeah. Favreau also said he's already done writing season four. Ah, uh, well... What? Season that's three, right. he's not even out yet. He's already done writing season four. Okay. I, look, I like The Mandalorian. I'm excited for this season. I'm a little worried. Right. Because I feel like it is one of those things where it should not have lasted this long. It's one of We've the things. We've basically already had three seasons because of Boba Fett. Oh, right. Because yeah. Mando and, you know, Boba Fett, Groger yeah. are all over Groger that fucking all over show. It. I haven't seen that season yet. Mm. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> spoiler alert. I, I am. It's been out for a year, though. Yeah. <laughs> spoiler alert. They, I, they do both yeah, live. I, I, I loved both seasons of Mandalorian. And man, I am really worried that we're going to regret season two was not just the end of the story. I, I really hope they don't I'm, fuck it up I think by, so. by giving us too much. If, I think if it goes longer than like four or five, I think that's where it starts to venture into just, yeah. well, we're just doing this for the money. Well, right? you're not going to like this quote then. Uh-oh. Oh, no. He's like, I think the beauty of this is that it's a middle chapter of a much larger story. Uh, and though... <laughs> Grogu's... Uh, and though we'll have a resolution over time with these characters, I think that uh, how these characters fit into the larger scope and scale. But it's not like there's a finale that we're building to that I have in mind. Quite the contrary. <laughs> I love for these stories to go on and on. I love, love for these Disney checks to go on and on. And, and so on. it's like maybe there's going to be a movie, a Grogu movie. Grogu, uh, Grogu with children. Yeah. <laughs> right. Spinoffs of they'll Grogu's like children. A, they'll have a multiverse movie where, like, you know, he meets Yoda. <laughs> yeah. Pablo Pablo Pascal and then, is and then uh, a, Pedro. Pedro, Jesus. Pedro Pascal is uh, teaching uh, Grogu's children. Yeah. Well, the and then eventually way. we'll see, like, an adult Grogu say, you know, do or do not. There is no try. And all the Star, all the fucking Star Wars nerds. <gasps> will... oh, he said it. He said oh, the thing. Oh, he oh my God. <laughs> Can we do like a, a fuck it else worlds where we get Gina Carano back? <laughs> yeah, like right. where we just don't care what anybody yes. says. Uh, like this isn't no, canon. No, no. So she's, you can get mad at it if you want. This isn't canon. She's canceled. Yeah, they should have just ignored yeah. that whole shit for a week and it would have went away. But it, it would have gone away. Whatever. <laughs> uh, also, Variety reports that Warner Brothers are planning multiple new Lord of the Rings movies. Oh, no. I mean. How many more can there I know I never watched the Lord of the Rings stuff, anyways. But I mean, I know uh, some people that really hated the Amazon Prime show. My friend John really hated it, but he's like well read on all the Lord of the Rings shit. Uh -huh. So like he was just offended by what they got wrong, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not really big on Lord of the Rings, so I could care less, honestly. I Here's guess. Uh, go ahead. No, just nobody knows how to end a story anymore. Like That's the first, right. like I really like a lot of people. I really loved the first three Lord of the Rings movies. They were great. They were fun. It was it was another Star Wars. It was great. Mm -hmm. But it just let it die. Just leave. why That's does everything problem. have to be more? That's the problem. Is that is the problem? It's all nostalgia. There's hardly any original ideas. And even when they are original, it's something like Cocaine Bear. And it's, even then... Cocaine Bear was amazing. Even then. There's no... But, I mean, everything, everywhere, all at once uh, is uh, original. Yes, it's, it yes. certainly takes ideas from a lot of our favorite movies, but it kind of merges them all into it's, one. It's an original thing. And it's sure. great. Um, the film company that produced everything, everywhere, all at once uh, is auctioning off real props from the film for charity. 
including Rekakuni. What? Yeah. Andrew, are we bidding on anything for the podcast? Yeah, I wish. If I was rich, I'd fucking own that thing today. Uh, how much is Rekakuni? I don't know. Yeah. Probably too much. What about? Wait, what about uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's hot dog fingers? <laughs> <laughs> Those for sale. Maybe. I kind of want to know how much the, what the, exactly they're auctioning off. Maybe I can look it up real quick. The yeah. dildo nunchucks. I want to know about that. Oh, <laughs> yes. Wait, uh, A24 auctions. Oh, We're going to find out right what, now. What do we have? <laughs> what do we have? I don't know. Hold on. Might take a minute here. Put me in. Um, okay. Evelyn's hot dog costume. The current bid is at. Two grand. Holy yeah, shit. That's a, that's a little bit so crazy. not the hot dog. Hot dog hands. Hot dog hands. Seventy five hundred dollars. <laughs> Three days left. Hot dog hands. Seventy five hundred for the hot dog hands. Okay. Uh Jamie Lee Curtis's outfit, twenty seven hundred. Yeah. All right, we gotta find Racket Cooney. Where the fuck is Racket Cooney? Knitted hot dog fingers. Okay. Uh Oh, the chef's <laughs> the chef's uniform. Oh, that's fun. Oh, 32. the giant hat that had Racket Cooney under it. Yeah. yeah. Come on, yeah. where the fuck is Rakakuni? Oh, <laughs> the fucking rock? The, the rock? The rock? The, rock with the, the rock with the googly eyes? Damn it. Oh, the butt plug that they were trying to jump on Fifteen thousand dollars <laughs> for the butt plug. Someone's definitely using that. <laughs> well, you'd have to. All right, hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold, hold, Did you okay. see? No. I, I didn't no. see. What do you I think see. the current bid for Rakakuni is? 25000 50 grand. <laughs> Actual retail price? Ninety thousand dollars. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> and there's three days left. <laughs> no. Okay, that's we're gonna, why I said it. I, if I was rich, I'd buy it. We're going to be revisiting this story to figure out how much <laughs> they <laughs> go back. They sold for next yeah. week. Wayman's fanny pack. How much is that? Nine grand. Nine grand. Okay. Is there Nothing. anything for the common man? No. Ah, oh, damn it. The temple visor is nine nine hundred fifty bucks. Oh my god. Yeah, we need to find somebody Nothing rich comes to get Rakakuni for us. To Rakakuni. Oh, it's yeah. If there's any, but, if there's any Saudi princes that are watching this show and they only wanna... five bidders sign up to place a bid. Five uh. bidders, just put them like a, just put them on like a side <laughs> table by your front door. <laughs> yeah. So it's the first thing everybody sees when you come in. Oh man, fucking Rakakuni! Oh my god, that's Rakakuni! Rakakuni! <laughs> oh, amazing. Four to six weeks delivery. Pickup not available. <laughs> Weighs five pounds. Yeah, I love this. I want to find out what the oh my god, what the uh, you know final bid is. Amazing. Rising and what mantle it goes on eventually. Oh my god, it's you know Seriously. it's gonna be on someone's and mantle. And this is and this is why capitalism is the only option because where else? Uh, oh no, could it's you get Rack- Where else could you get Rakakuni? <laughs> like anybody, anybody could get Rakakuni. You could get him. You could get him. No. In theory. In theory, yes. <laughs> I need to get yeah. my sister in law to crochet a racacuni for us. Um, okay. <laughs> Anyways, I know Josh is going to be sad about this. Uh, succession creator Jesse Armstrong told The oh. New Yorker that the, um, the upcoming season will be its last. I'm very disappointed by this. This was a show that I thought could go a couple more seasons, but apparently, uh, you know, this is going to be it. You know, they're. There's so much story to tell, and I can't believe they're going to wrap it up all in one season. That, that's just what I'll say. And isn't it only like nine episodes? Yeah, it's, it's they're like not really long short. seasons, right? So that clearly means that maybe like Brian Cox was like, I'm done. Working with Will Ferrell. <laughs> Will Ferrell? Yeah, Will Ferrell was one of the executive producers. Oh, sure, but what's the executive producer? Mm. They just fund the fucking thing. No. That's it. Um, yeah, there's, I mean, there's, we also heard rumors that Kevin Costner doesn't want to do Yellowstone anymore. Um, so we'll see what happens with that as well. But interesting. Do you have anything else? No, I was sad Please? after I saw that, saw that succession was. Can you come up with something else? Can I come up with something yeah. else? I mean, so that I, we don't have to talk about this piece of shit movie. I mean, we can talk about succession a little bit longer if you want. I mean, it, it's such a beautiful story, and we've compared it to the story. we've compared it to the WWE so many times. That's right. And that you know, just how there's like NDAs because there's our NDAs <laughs> in, in, sure. in Succession as well. Any big company has their <laughs> fair share of NDAs. Tons of NDAs. I mean, b- a bore on the floor. I mean, that's just an amazing game. It seems like. 
Uh, all right, well, let's cover Josh's favorite movie of all time, Cocaine Bear. Oh, no, it's not my favorite movie of all time. I will say it is. I'm tired of seeing these shitty fucking movies, man. It seems like most movies that come out suck now. Listen, this was not a. I want to go back to reviewing movies that we actually like. This was not a Martin Scorsese movie. This was not. <laughs> this was not. We weren't expecting this Scorsese. This was not Christopher Nolan's uh, Dark Knight trilogy. This was just a fun. Ha- uh, hour and a half of 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 jokes and uh, and a crazed out bear on cocaine. You laughed at those horrible jokes. I did. I laughed oh, at a few of them. Josh, my girlfriend was like, "I don't get the American humor." I go, "That well, there." No, I think she does actually because she she's smart enough to know this movie sucked. I laughed so hard at so many things. Hilarious. Just the fact that she hated this movie, like Aaron and I did, she did says that like she's it. a keeper. Hollywood has turned into dating. I like her already, Josh. I like her more than you already. Yeah. Ho- Hollywood has turned into dating. You have to wade through so much garbage yeah. just to find one it's good just, thing. It's just funny how it used to be movies were good and the TV show sucked, and now it's, it's flip flops. Backwards. Yes. yes. I'll the only good things that. there are are shows. It's I'll, yes. I'll agree with that. But it, co- of course, I, I, like I agree. Because TV huh? shows. Long, like, you know, like long form storytelling is really the best way to go. Because they know what everybody's consuming now is streaming at home. Nobody's going to the fucking theaters anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So they're not even bothering making good movies anymore. All the good stories are going to shows. It's true. Uh, Tell me about this. If you went in this movie thinking it was like a B movie, would you still think it was fun? Josh, that's what I was expecting. Of course, that's what we were expecting. I love B movies. This was like watching a movie on the Sci-Fi Network, except it was less enjoyable. I, we felt, were, I felt like this was like a Sharknado, but it was fun. What we were expecting, that's what we were expecting. What we were expecting was like this is I don't know maybe a deep cut, but Hobo with a shotgun, like just <laughs> just a fun shitty B movie that's yeah. just it's not boring. It's just fun and ridiculous and stupid, and you just have a good time. Josh, there's this like not a good time. There's the like bear a pair ate cocaine. He ate cocaine. But even there was even a part in this movie where even the characters were literally right next to the bear and they were bored. The yeah. characters in the movie they who were, were getting trying, eaten were bored. They were trying to be still because you didn't want to upset the nope, bear. No, nope, no, movie- nope. bear fell asleep. They were laying next to the bear, bored, going like, well, what do we do now? I Is the know. bear dead? The characters Is in the, the bear, bear murdering people. Okay, Josh, why bored. not just shoot the bear in the head at that point? There's two people with guns. The bear is sleeping. Pow! At point blank range, shoot the bear in the fucking head. I agree. But it, it was. I still thought it was fun. You can't murder a bear. This trailer promised us with, like, carnage. I was... And there carnage. was... And, like, all the stuff that you saw in the trailer... With that, that was it. That was one of the best parts in the movie. And really, in the movie, every t- because the CGI budget was so low, like, yes, the bear looked good from far away, but anytime it attacked someone, they would cut away as if you're watching a PG-13 movie. But no, yeah. it's fucking rated R. Like, give us what we want. We want to see the blood. We want to see... Like, no, they would cut away. You wouldn't actually see the bear eat anyone. I will give you oh, this. Oh, look, the bushes are shaking. Ooh. I'll, I'll this ain't Jaws, motherfucker. Yeah. It's not Spielberg. Tense. I'll it give you built. this. The movie started, and the opening kill scene there was at the very, very beginning. Yeah. Like, I don't know if either of you saw uh, that Anthony Hopkins movie, The Edge, that, like, lost no, in the world. No, but that's I, I what heard you, about the bear. that. But my, but my point is, it was a legit good bear kill scene sure now granted we didn't see that when it was you know behind some bushes and stuff but that's how you but, always but, but start it was, off right with, with right. a monster movie you don't see the monster right away right and then they spit out a leg and you're like oh my god right like, that's so how my, they all work right so my point was it was a legit good start i was like oh yeah. this might be good okay right. all it right was fine and that was the best thing of the movie was the first two minutes no that well, was well the first two minutes was fun with the guy who was throwing out the the bags of coke, and he was, yeah, that was, he was all, ah! At that point, I was still, like, all in. I was like, yep, yeah, okay, good. You know, he knocked himself out. Um, I think the same thing happened in real life. Like, the true story that is in this movie, which, because this whole movie is not a true story. No. <laughs> the bear never attacked or ate anyone. In real life, it just ate some cocaine and OD'd and died. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> so that's, the, that's the real story. They should have made that movie. <laughs> Oh, but no, the guy that the guy that tossed out the bags of cocaine from the plane, that all happened. And 
he either died while parachuting or it was like the same thing, but he did he did die in real life. I and I think though I think those were probably like real news footage of yeah, Tom it, broke you know all oh, the coke bar and cocaine. <laughs> it did so. seem like that. <laughs> By the it way, was the definitely guy, some nostalgia. By the way, the guy that uh, the guy at the very beginning that was jumping out of the plane that died. I don't know all the other things that be, that he's been in, but I I felt like I recognized him from that. Uh, it was very dark. From that uh, uh, the Tom Hanks Mr. Rogers movie. Okay, he, he's oh, he's he's been in a oh, bunch. Oh, is he the rep- he's he the main character of that movie? The main character of that movie. He's he's been in a lot of other stuff, but that's Mr. what Rogers? I remember him most from. Um, yeah, I can't remember his name, but I mean, it was pretty. It's pretty dark for I, that scene. I thought it was that guy. Like he, that's he, that's him. Yes, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Matthew Reese. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we just saw him for like a second with sunglasses on. But yeah, right, I, I thought I recognized him. Yeah. How dare you? You did a movie with Tom Hanks. You did this. This was fun. There's a lot of like this semi. Was fun. There was a lot of semi-famous people in this movie. I mean, a poor lot. poor Ray Liotta though. Like this is his last movie. Oh. He does the worst fucking movie ever. I that's think that's why it, you just hated it. That's how it, it was always, Ray, Lo, Ray Liotta's last movie. That's how it always is though. Um, fucking um, oh, what the hell was his name? The guy from the Adams Family movies. Um, oh fuck, am I know? The guy that played uh, Gomez. Um, right. I know you're talking about Jesus Christ. His last movie was Street Fighter. <laughs> oh, that's, that's right. Uh, yeah, Ra- uh, Raul Julia. Raul Julia. His last oh, movie no. was fucking Street Fighter with uh, Van Damme. Now there's right. a movie we that's, should do. That's that's just how it goes. Yeah. Oh, so also we had Mitch from Modern Family. He was hilarious. No, he, he wasn't. Was not, he was he hilarious was in the Modern only, Family. The only he funny fun. part was the one from the trailer where it's like, bears can't, can't climb trees. You're like, of course they can! Yes. But it's like, we already saw that in the trailer. He was, right. So he you was have to do a, other stuff. He was a goofy guy. I liked how the how the uh, park ranger was trying... Wanted to try, fuck him. Was trying to fuck him. None of these characters were interesting. <laughs> it was, None of these characters were the interesting. The park ranger not, was When so there's no bear, you're so bored. You're so... There's like 30 minutes at one point where there's no bear. And I'm like, what the fuck is, am I watching? Even, the, even more than no one was interesting... There was no main character of this movie. No. Every, every actor in this movie had five to ten minutes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. There was no main character of this movie. The bear is the main character. The, the, bear, the bear is bear. the main character. The cocaine is the main character. The cocaine. No, the main I think character. what they were like, hey, because this is like, it feels like they were trying to go like, oh, let's let's do some Tarantino, like where we have these weird characters and they're funny, but the problem is. Only Tarantino can write like Tarantino. And when you try to like copy Tarantino like this, it's just garbage. You had all these These people are not interesting. You had all these weird, goofy characters that were all converging onto one scene. Oh, it's like Pulp Fiction. And it was How did these characters all get here? It was just kind of funny seeing them all interact in different ways with the It wasn't though with the cocaine and the bear. And All of the jokes fell flat. No, there was every I single fucking every joke. Every single one of yeah, them. Yeah, of course she did. Pee pee. They're hilarious. <laughs> there was there was your pee was watching the movie. There no. was one thing that everybody came to this movie for: people getting eaten in awesome, hilarious ways by a bear. And there was a shocking number of characters that died in non-bear ways. Oh my god! People getting shot. Yeah. Multiple people multiple just people died. Just multiple shot. people just it's got like, shot. Well, why didn't the bear kill him? The the scene in the um at the park ranger station yeah. where it was just the park ranger and the goofy kids yeah at the, I love that she ended up blowing the brains out in a movie of like the kids. in a movie like this even if it is a stupid B movie and in reality this wasn't it was a you know fairly big budget film with Elizabeth Banks is in theaters but like in a movie like this you have to show us something we haven't seen before that's the other thing. And I'll admit, I didn't expect to see children eating cocaine. Uh, so like funny. that yeah. was interesting. Like that was They're- a little good, a good little scene. Like those kids and uh, Carrie Russell. I felt like I was watching Stranger Things because this movie takes place in the eighties. It's mm. it has the weird music uh, for their scenes yeah. and like and the eighties clothes and it's like oh the kids getting lost and the mom looking for them. I'm like okay, they're clearly going for like a Stranger Things. Like but, vibe here, but the three of them were barely in it, though yeah. they weren't even the leads. I will give you this, Josh. Here's here's my olive branch. There was one kill scene that I haven't seen before, 
maybe I just haven't seen enough movies, but when uh, the woman that played uh, Mags from, un, uh, from uh, Justified, the Park Ranger. Yeah. She's, she's in a gurney in the back of the ambulance, right. and then it crashes, and she rolls out the back, and it goes upside down. And Jeez. basically the way she dies is like her... F- like. The gurney goes upside down in the ground and her face just like grounds down on the road. Right. I've never seen that death before in a movie. Well, we've seen so someone we've seen someone get dragged to death. Well, right, but not this specific way, like their face just getting dragged to like yeah. ground down. I haven't seen that specific death before. So that's my olive branch. I haven't seen that. I think least. you have. Maybe I have and I'm just yeah, forgetting about it. I think it. so. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the movie. I, I it's it's honestly like well, like in de- well, there was like the death proof scene where like the car drives over and the chick's face oh, gets sure, taken yeah. off by the tire. You're thinking of Jason? There's, there, there's that of that Jason movie. I'm we not. Watched, I'm not Andrew. thinking of Jason. No, no, but they had they had someone dragged behind a truck Jason? or something. Jason? like Jason or Halloween or where the fuck we watched? Are what you, was that that we watched? Are you, watch? are you sure you're not thinking of Jason X with the uh, the liquid Jason? nitrogen and the they one the one movie we watched with the with the face. scary movie with Halloween. The Halloween, Jason, they're all the same to me. Jason? I don't know which one is different. Josh, you're they're gonna, all the same. You're going to alienate a lot of they people, all, Josh. They all scare me. <laughs> they all scare me. That's <laughs> right. all the same. Fuck that. Who Nightmare did they drag? Street, Who did they? Maybe that was it. Yeah, it was Reese. one of the kids. Because I remember it being recent. It was one of the kids that was in the salvage yard. All right, fuck it. I take back my olive branch. <laughs> fuck this movie. Well, you didn't, <laughs> you didn't see it. You didn't see that movie, so what are you worried about? <laughs> Ugh. Uh, and then we have Scott Sace playing one of the EMTs. He's really funny on TikTok. I would check him out. Again, he's in this movie for five fucking minutes. But he was in the movie longer than no, that. No, he was not. No, he wasn't. He was in the also movie not. longer. No, he than was that. not. Josh, maybe not much longer, but it was longer oh, than five sorry, minutes. Six he was, minutes. He yes. was in for five minutes. And by the way, they stole this scene from the fucking Great Outdoors. Did they? Have you have but you no, guys not. seen the Great Outdoors? Uh, John Candy, Dan Aykroyd, 80s movie. Exact okay. same scene. John Candy's by a door. Bear crashes down the door, smacks down John Candy. And they even have the, like, the bears like bouncing on the door and like oh. crushing it. No. They stole the fucking scene. That was scene. probably their like homage or something. They were like, oh, let's honor them by doing that. Maybe. Interesting. But and like cocaine. this movie doesn't deserve to do that. No, you don't get, no. I mean, we have the bear jumping in the ambulance. I mean, we already brought part of that up. Uh, Scott Stace's like hand was hanging off. That was not bad. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Um, and then the bear passes out on Ray Liotta's son, and that's the that's the part where it's like they could just shoot the bear in the head, but they don't. And they're all bored. It's like, well, uh, and listen. that fucking detective couldn't get down from the gazebo. Well, he didn't he want to break like, his head. Uh, I even yelled it uh, out in the theater. Well, I didn't yell it out in the theater, but I'm I'm talking to Andrew. I'm yeah. Like, how the fuck did he get up there in the how first did he get place? Up there? He and said then he like ten, and then like ten seconds later, one of the guys on the ground is like, "Well, how'd you get up there in the first place?" I'm like, yeah. "Yeah, I shouldn't be able to say your lines, dude." He climbed a tree and he jumped down. Mm. All right. Okay. Okay. Listen. Okay. If I, 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 the movie doesn't even have to make sense because it is supposed to be a super B movie, like you said. Right. But it's just not entertaining. No. Look, if we go sh- watch Things Killing. I never saw that one. Listen, you're supposed to d- suspend d- disbelief in a movie. You know. Go watch Zombievers if it's still on Netflix. <laughs> Zombievers. People turn into gigantic beaver zomb. I mean, it's what it is. Zombievers, right? If if it's you're great. gonna, j- Josh, the, uh-huh. the thing is, you suspend disbelief. If they're doing such a good job pulling you in and giving you a story and just making you part of it where you're just lost in it, then you're able to suspend some disbelief. But if you're just bored, my main... I was part of it. I felt like I was one of those goofy teens that was uh, around trying to uh, pickpocket people in the park. I or felt just like beat I was up that of... guy in the bathroom. Well, I if Josh would've... does cocaine, he's going to fight you. I would have been one of the, the ones that was getting beat up because I was a punk back then. But, you know, I, I felt then. like this was my youth. This was my youth. This was my heyday. What? This is what you did? You went around and, and fucked with people in a park? That's no, what you I, did? I'm just saying. I, and you I, did cocaine? You did cocaine? I did not And you do beat cocaine. up black guys in a bathroom? I did is that not. What you did, Josh? It was one black guy in a bathroom. Oh, God. But and, I did and I not. I didn't beat him up. He, I blew him. Oh, okay, Josh. Fuck you. I did not. <laughs> I'm just saying that this was this was a movie that kind of reminded me of my youth. They cut a away. Bit. It was fun. How the fuck does this remind you of your youth? This was fun. When did I you find it. cocaine in the park? I found lots of things in a park. 
Lots yeah. of things. Uh-huh. It wasn't cocaine. Is that what? Uh, all right. I'm not going to. Never saw a bear before, though. You don't see a bear in this movie. They cut away every time the bear does something. Every time the bear kills someone, cut away, cut away, cut away. We never actually got to fucking see it. I, I mean, as bad as Sharknado is, as bad as that CGI is, you actually got to see the shark eat people. Well, what I would suggest, Andrew, is maybe uh, during uh, Cocaine Bear 2, where Cocaine Bear Rise of the Babies, uh, baby bears. Maybe you. What's need a baby so- bear called? Maybe a baby black bear. What's a baby bear called? A cub. Well, there you go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe you need someone to. Maybe it's only because they said it in the fucking movie. You need someone to to touch you, Andrew, in a special place. <laughs> maybe okay. you'll like this movie. Not maybe. that it happened to me, because I like this movie anyways, and I would watch it with no one in the theater. I will probably buy the steel book. Oh, look, the female cop was evil. Whoa! Oh, wow. I don't even know who the fuck she is. They established her in one little scene. Hey, can you watch my dog? Sure. Then later she's like, what? You're here and you're in on it? She's like, yup. And you're supposed to be like, whoa. But it's like, who gives a shit? It was funny. That's funny. It was not funny. I liked it. I think there's going to be a lot of people out there that watch this and like the movie just then they're, they're like in the, me. They're in the cave for 30 minutes. 30 minutes of the movie, they're in the fucking cave. That's when I fell asleep. I did doze off for a while. This Is that when the movie gets good? The cave? No, not really. That, no, it's that, terrible. That's when you saw the... the that's when the CGI budget ran out, and yeah. they're like, well, I guess the last half hour of the movie's got to be in a cave so that you can't really see the bears. Well, you got to see the ba- the baby bears, the cubs. They were doing the cocaine. Yeah, you know, in they very were low light. In very low light for cheap CGI. You know, then they were uh, they mauled Ray Liotta to they, death. They, they eat Ray Liotta. Yeah, you know, uh, the, the, the kiddos and everyone else jump off the water ledge. Uh, the water ledge. Jump off the ledge into the water into yeah. safety, you know, to get to get away from Mama Bear. She, yeah. she wasn't Mama. The movie, yeah, her vagina's on my ear. This movie Hilarious. should have been Hilarious. This Hilarious. movie should have been thirty minutes, and it should have been canceled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wanted more. It should have been canceled by like day three. They're filming. They're like, oh, this is not going well. Cancel the film. Maybe. I mean, Bat, Batgirl can't be this bad. Warner Brothers canceled Batgirl. They're not even going to fucking release it. It can't be worse than this. Maybe it's because I want to do cocaine. Why I like this movie so much. I, I, Why do you I want to do cocaine? I don't know. It, this movie made it seem like it was a fancy, fun romp. Josh, I, th- I think you're just attaching other things to this movie that don't belong. You I'm were, attaching fun. You were, you were on a date in a good mood. You're attaching weird nostalgia to it that I, I don't think belongs. <laughs> I think you're just... I think you're attaching other things to this movie that don't belong. I'm attaching... This, this was bad. I'm attaching just good bad. energy to this movie. And I liked it. I'm going to buy the steelbook. I'm going to buy the steelbook. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> By the steel book. There, there better not be a steel book for this garbage. It's gonna be the face of a of a bear high on cocaine. <gasps> uh huh. Yeah. Great. We'll, we'll replace it with your face Rawr. on cocaine, and people won't be able to tell the difference. All right. So uh, yeah, this did make twenty three million dollars opening weekend uh, domestically, and another five million globally. Uh, it far succeeded expectations. Yeah, I can. I, see I it. thought it was gonna make eight million. That was my guess. I was like. It's probably gonna make eight million. No, twenty three million. It, well, it made twenty three million because of people like us that were like, "Hey, let's go check it out." Yeah, mm. yeah. It was a success, which means they're probably gonna do a sequel. They got us. I they I, got us. That's I'm all in for a sequel. They're I, tomorrow. They're they're gonna announce a sequel for sure. Good. I'll apply. Maybe they might want need writers. I mean, if they can spend fifty, they 000, do need writers. You're correct. If they can spend fifty thousand and make twenty three million, then sure, yeah, fifty thousand. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, uh, they also need a director as well. You know, because Elizabeth mm. Banks is terrible. No. Oh, I yeah. mean, it's not all on her, but you know, yeah, the movie sucked. The movie sucked. It was fun. Score out of ten. Seven. A seven. Seven. He also gave Reservoir Dogs a seven, so this is just as good. <laughs> This is just as good as Reservoir Dogs. Josh Fuck. Reese. You know Cocaine what? Cocaine Bear. Just as good as Reservoir Dogs. You know what? To be honest, I had more fun watching this than Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll give it a two and a half because there was a couple kills that were kind of like, oh, all right. What's the lowest score? Zero? Well, lowest score has to be one. It has to be right? one. It has to be one. I'll, I'll give it a two and a half. Okay. I'll give it a two. Jesus. Yeah. It's just haters over here. Yeah, like, we hated the movie. Like, at its core, this movie, like, yes, 
everyone knew going into this, this is going to be a dumb movie, but at its core, it should be fun. It was. And it wasn't fun. It was boring. It was so boring. I had so boring. Much fun. So boring. We, we had to wait like 30 minutes before the bear showed up. All right, this or Avatar 2? This. And, and this. It's shorter. No, forget the shortness. Oh, if still they were the this. same. Shut up, Josh. I already know your answer. Okay. This or Avatar 2 if they were the same length. If they're the same length, this. Really? Well. I would say Avatar 2. This is like my most hated movie in a while. Honestly. This. Andrew's hey, trolling. Hey, Josh. Andrew's trolling no, no, no. Now. Hey, Josh. Uh-huh. Kings, the King's Man was better than this piece of shit movie. Get the fuck out of here. It was. Oh, uh, because you had cock hungry vibes, huh? <laughs> Russ Putin made me horny watching that movie. Apparently. <laughs> I did not like this movie at all. It is fucking garbage. It should have been on the sci fi network. And even then, it was like, yeah, that sucked. So. Fucking hater. This did feel like a sci fi network movie. But even then, you see. Eventually, it will you, be. Even in those movies, like. Fucking Mega Shark versus Shark. Uh, fuck, what was it? Mega Shark versus Robo Shark. You actually saw them eat people. Yes, the CGI sucked, and yeah. it was worse than the CGI in this movie. But yeah. at least you saw the satisfaction of seeing them get eaten. You could laugh because it's so bad. This one, you don't even see the bear do anything. Morbius <clears throat> or Cocaine Bear? <laughs> Morbius. Get the. F- you just. <laughs> you are so beep, 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 trolling. Beep, beep, beep. I'm not just, trolling. This, this is like Josh, high level trolling. Josh, after. these are all bad movies we're talking about here. Morbius, Cocaine Bear, Avatar 2. This was a Avatar fun two. bad movie. So fun that I gave it a seven. A seven. What a piece of shit. All right. Let's see what our fans think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to know how many agreed with me. I, I want to hear this. Uh, Dylan, Pushfire Barry, a Cocaine Bear, a Cocaine Lion, or a Cocaine Shark? Ooh. I, mean, I have to fire the bear because the bear sucked. I don't think a cocaine shark could actually happen. Can you get cocaine? <laughs> that would be difficult. Yeah, that would be difficult. I guess you got to fire the cocaine shark. No. Push the cocaine bear and fire Sharks the are the best. Yeah, f- fire the lion. Push yeah. push the shark. Yeah. Mikey Drew Crikey, push fire berry, cocaine movie slash show, American made, blow, A.W. Dynamite. (laughs) (laughs) This movie was underwritten by Tony Khan. So I haven't seen American Made or Blow. Uh, That being said, Fire Dynamite. Blow was good. I'm sure it was. Blow was very good. Was Blow with Johnny Depp? It was. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Blow was good. I I associated with him. uh, him PCJ, would you rather fight Cocaine Bear or Brock Lesnar loaded on Viagra and Angel Dust? Ooh. I wouldn't want to fight Brock Lesnar because he'd totally be raping me for sure. I think I have uh, better chance against the bear. I think I have better chances with the bear too. Yeah. Exactly. At least I would die quickly and not have to get raped. Raped. Uh, oh, they, they should have made that. Brock Lesnar, uh, cocaine Brock. <laughs> cocaine Brock. Maybe well, that's better. after every one of his matches. Yeah. Omar, took my mom to go see Cocaine Bear with me. <laughs> she said, this is the worst movie that you've ever made me watch. So with that being said, it was pretty entertaining. Uh, and Omar hates you, Josh, so it's probably going to piss him off even more. Uh, <laughs> the guy that played Ray Liotta's son is the guy that played young Han Solo, if anyone was wondering. Oh, oh that's, okay. First of all, is he was the worst character in the movie. The crybaby. He was yeah. so sad. He was so <laughs> annoying. Yeah. I, it was it was funny when uh, when no, he was he was talking to the to the black camera of the black guy's character name. And he's like, uh, you think you think your dad gave your wife cancer? It's like, yeah, I think she he gave him cancer. <laughs> it's hilarious. Very funny. Yeah. I loved it. I no, but it speaking speaking of characters that uh were in the movie, the uh the couple early, the the German couple, yeah, the redheaded guy, he was uh, a main character in Game of Thrones. Oh really? I thought I reckon I yeah. thought he was the guy from Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. I was I was like, is that that guy? No, he wouldn't be in this piece of shit. Ah! But, a lot of people yeah. shouldn't have been in this a, piece a of lo- shit. A lot of people shouldn't have been. Oh, uh, okay, piece I of see shit. him now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, the the uh, the redhead with the beard. Yeah, Giants yeah. Bane. I think his Omar name. also yeah. really wants a hogwash Discord. I mean, we have a what's wrong with wrestling Discord. It's just no one uses it. He says Aaron could be a mod. We oh. don't we don't trust Josh with passwords. That's true. Mm. Oh, that's yeah. true. Uh, Andy, I- <clears throat> who was your favorite character in the movie, Josh? Um, the bear. No, I thought the black guy was pretty funny. The the no one was funny. The black guy who tried to tried to get the cocaine. He was hilarious. 
Who was your favorite character? The movie sucked. I don't know, the little boy because he got her to do cocaine. <laughs> yeah. He was pretty funny, too. That was like the one scene me and Aaron were like, ah, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, I got to give you that. That's why A, I got a tablespoon of cocaine? Yes. <laughs> I feel like that might kill people. Uh, Andy Piconi, name one animal. By the way, why was the German couple not afraid of a bear? Because they yeah. were in the wilderness It's all 20 time. feet away. Yeah. Anyone, sh- you you should definitely be afraid of a bear. Well, you should. For there's sure. a lot of fucking stupid people. Yeah, had to suspend disbelief. Andy Piconi, name one animal you want to see high on cocaine, and one you wouldn't. I would not want to see a bear high on cocaine because we've seen that, and it fucking sucks. Mm-hmm. So, what would we like to see on cocaine? Something fast. I think a squirrel on cocaine would be pretty interesting. Squirrels are already on <laughs> cocaine. I'd like to see like a wasp on cocaine. It would uh, be, uh, be like the worst. <laughs> like just watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> talk about a horror movie. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, Danny DeVito's duck. Is it me or does anyone see that Aaron Rosa looks like Vigilante from Peacemaker? <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> uh, you that's still haven't funny. watched, right? No, no. I, I'm going to start it this week, I think. I, think I mean, now you should. <laughs> that's a little bit. A, a little, little bit. bit. Yeah. Okay. But Vigilante's amazing, so it's we nothing to be him, offended about. We should get him okay. the mask. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll watch out for this guy, and I'll decide if I'm offended or not. <laughs> <laughs> Chief Nakahomer, uh, sorry for the late Quantum Mania review. I loved it. There's finally a clear sense of direction in the MCU. Hold on a minute. Uh, and I knew they were going to be heavily criticized after Endgame. I don't want to see a bunch of bandwagoners praising Secret War after everyone's uh, turned their back on Marvel. Killing entire universes will be worse than half of one. Wait, so is he being sarcastic? I can't tell. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's interesting. I'm going to assume you're being sarcastic about you loving Quantumania. Yeah. Because then the second half, it seemed like you didn't like it. Yeah, I'm not sure the tone of that is <laughs> interesting. It, it, you yeah. can't tell tone through text. I yeah. think Josh wrote this for him. Mm. It's a problem. Mm. Tim, going to see the movie tonight just because I'm a huge Ray Liotta fan. <laughs> I hope they at least have a tribute pick or something. I mean, the very end, it says... In loving memory of yeah, Ray Liotta. Of loving memory of Ray Liotta. God, right. This fucking guy was in Goodfellas. To which Aaron said, Ugh. yelled yelled in the theater, if you want to honor his memory, take him off the movie. <laughs> take him off the credits. <laughs> take him off the credits. <laughs> Uh, oh, Tim said, wait, Tim, the one that said he was going to see the movie, he replied, came back from the movie and thought it was good, but should have been more about the bear. Yes, it should have been more about the fucking bear. No shit. No, no. fucking shit. I thought Nathan, the people were interesting. Nathan Bain, what was your guy's favorite death scene? Mine was the guy who fell out of the tree. Um, oh, when he got killed by the bear and he fell out of the tree? That CGI was horrendous. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty bad. That that arm that fell was pretty weak. Yeah. I liked the first one because it had, you know, I thought we were in for like a fun, stupid movie. Right. And that actually had kind of like a scary, like, oh, shit yeah. tone to the first. So the the first, the very first yeah, kill. When the too. guy was jumping out of the plane or the bear's first well, kill? Not, no, 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 well, the bear's that first is a death kill. Scene. Oh, the bear's first kill. Yeah, I'll go with the guy jumping out of the plane. Mm. A favorite death scene. I thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah. I thought my my favorite death scene was when the park ranger blew the brains out of that kid. It was so obvious. She though. was trying for to me. Shoot it was so bear, obvious that missed. it was coming, but uh, that made me laugh so hard. That is all for fan questions. Uh, yeah. So a seven out of ten from Josh, two and a half from Aaron, and a, a two for me. I guess. I feel like yeah. the fans were more seven ish than they were two ish. No one gave a rating. But I feel like the fan comments were more supportive. There was I mean, only a few a good people movie. that saw it. There was only a few, and and they said, you know, it was all right. I kind of liked it, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that seems more like five or six. Mm. Anyways, but make anyways. sure you subscribe to our podcast wherever you're viewing us. We also have exclusive videos on the YouTube channel, Hollywood Hogwash Pod. You can follow the show on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Hollywood Hog Pod. And more importantly, you become a supporter of the show at patreon.com slash Hollywood Hogwash. Watch The Last of Us with us. We're going to have brackets coming out pretty soon. Mandalorian season three is coming out. That's all going to be on there. Right. Uh, So please sign up. And uh, next week, can we like review something that 
like we actually like or I actually good, like. Let's do a good movie next week because we we were thinking about what that uh, and glorious bastards the, the sixty five the sixty five million. Well, that that comes maybe. out in two weeks. Oh, I thought that was next weekend. This this coming weekend is Creed three, but I haven't oh. even seen Creed two yet, and I'm just I'm worried. Down I'm just the worried last about Jonathan Major's performance. <laughs> I'm just worried about reviewing another fucking movie I hate. I Inglorious know. Bastards. I haven't seen that in a long time. I don't know how much this audience seems into Creed three. I don't know. Like yeah, I'm vaguely interested, but I don't right. know. Right. Same here. Let us know what you want to review. Uh, I was also thinking like Kill Bill one and two, like back to back weeks or something like that. But uh, send us uh, send us your ideas and we'll review something. It's a Wonderful Life. Ignore Josh at oh. all at all times. Yeah.